Captain Zero. Captain Zero. Research Explorer in time and space. uncharted region of the planet called Earth stands the laboratory of Captain Zero. In this secret location, known only to a few in the outside world, Captain Zero and his associates experiment in time and space to learn from the past, to plan for the future. Contact has been established. We now transmit you direct to the laboratory of Captain Zero. Please stand by. Jet. Yes, sir? Come here, quickly. What's up, Captain? Watch. Who is it, Captain? That's James Marshall at Sutter's Mill in the Coloma Valley, California. On Monday, January 24th, in the year 1848. By the heavens, I think it's cold. found something and I'm gonna find out what Captain, what's going on you've just seen the start of the biggest gold rush the world has ever known but who is that fellow watching Marshall I don't know Stand by to move the time machine ahead four days to Sutter's Fort in Sacramento. We'll find out what happens when Marshall arrives. Yes, sir. All set, sir. Activate the cycle reactor. Good. Cut reactor and lock it. Stand by to reactivate the view screen. Yes, sir. There it is, Sutter's Fort on the Sacramento River. Man, you suppose Marshall has arrived yet? Stand by to refocus inside. Yes, sir. No sign of anyone yet. Wait a minute.
There's John Sutter. The man who built the fort? Yes, but the fort is just a part of his California empire. Empire? What do you mean? Seven years ago, in 1841, Sutter, a Swiss immigrant, obtained a land grant from Mexico. And with a lot of patience and hard work, he's transformed thousands of acres of wilderness into rich farm and cattle land. He employs hundreds of people. In fact, John Sutter was California's first empire builder. But what do you suppose happened to Marshall? Come in. Afternoon, sir. Can you spare a couple of minutes? Sure, Ben. What's on your mind? Here's the cargo list for the Amelia, sir. Oh. She's loaded and ready to head down the river for San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Good job. Thank you, sir. Oh, Ben. How long have you been working for me? Exactly one year, sir. That's what I thought. Just one year ago, I took this from you and told you you could live a useful life without it. You proved me right, Ben. I think you've grown up enough to carry it now. Here. I don't want it, Mr. Sutter. That gun represents everything about my life I want to forget. When we first met, I knew nothing but the law of the gun. I used it for fighting, stealing, shooting up Indian Pueblos. I even tried to shoot up your fort. That's over now. Yeah, but instead of tossing me into jail, you gave me a job. You gave me something useful to do. I'm grateful to you, sir, more than you know. No, sir, I don't want the gun. You're smart, Ben, and a good worker. I've got big plans for you, but uh, any time you want that gun back, you know where it is. Thanks, sir. I won't be needed. Come in. Marshal, what are you doing here? Not so loud. You want everybody in the place to hear? What's the matter? Something wrong up at the mill? No, but I got to talk to you, John. Alone. I'll leave, sir. No. Whatever you've got to say, Ben can hear it. But this is big, John. Ben can hear it. All right. Come here. Now, I'm not sure this is the real stuff, John. We'll have to test it. But if it is, we're going to be the richest men on earth. Gold. Gold. Yeah, what I tell you? Richest kings. Beautiful yellow gold. What is it, John? Where'd you find it? Up at the sawmill. Four days ago, early in the morning, when I was testing the tail race. There wasn't a sand, big as life. It's a miracle no one else saw it. You sure no one did? Positive. You're the first to know. The creek must be full of this stuff. The whole country, maybe. Well, what's the matter, John? I thought you'd be glad. Huh. But if this stuff is real, we're going to be rich. No, Jim, if this is the real thing, I'm going to be ruined. What? Are you mad? Ruined, you understand? Everything I've built, ruined. Easy, Mr. Sutter. You don't know if that is the real thing. No. Ben, get the hammer from my tool chest. So you think gold will turn us into kings, huh? Well, you're wrong. If this proves to be gold, it means ruin. The finish of everything I've built. People swarming in from everywhere. Trampling down the land. Ruining the crops. Driving off the cattle. Our own workers will desert us. Nothing will be left. Nothing. I'll show you what Sutter means, Jet. Move the time machine ahead one year and watch. This is what Sutter is afraid of. Thousands of people rushing pell-mell for California with the hope of getting rich quick. Thousands of people pouring over his land in an endless stream, caring for nothing but gold. Some may find it, many more won't. Still they come.
horseback, covered wagon, and stagecoach. Towns springing up overnight, and everywhere, men searching for gold. Panning the streams alone. Or building sluice boxes, like this rocker here, and working in teams. Sloughing off the sand and the gravel, then panning the residue for nuggets and flakes in their eager quest for the precious metal. Miners and prospectors from all over the world digging and panning every foot of his land, and no way to stop them. Who cares about one man's crops or cattle when there's gold to be had? Gold. And the faster it can be washed out, the better. Hydraulic mining washes out the gold, but the land is reduced to unusable rubble. Sutter has reason to fear. Reactivate the time machine back to his office. And how many will strike it rich? Very few. Then what will they do? With no land, no crops, no cattle, no food, no work. And why? Because I will have been ruined. Understand? Ruined. Flattened out. It bends without breaking, just as gold should. It's got the weight for gold. Must be real, huh, John? There are other tests. We'll try them all. Go to the apothecaries. Get some acid and scales. Hurry. And Jim. Yeah. Don't breathe this to a soul. Understand? That goes for you too, Ben. You can count on me, sir. Don't worry, John. You can take my word for it. I won't talk. You can take my word for it. There ain't nobody knows about it but us three right here. Good. Now get the acid and scales. Sam Brannan. Afternoon, John. Jim? What are you doing here? Oh, I just wanted to uh, talk a bit. Well, I'm busy right now, Sam. Drop by in an hour or so. Uh, Jim, get those things I ordered. Wait a minute, John. I want to talk to you now. What's the big idea, Brandon? Just because you own a newspaper down in San Francisco, you... Star. First in town. Uh, that still doesn't give you the right to snoop. Now get out. What have you got in your hand, John? Nothing. Get out. But you have. And you're afraid. In all the years I've known you, John, I've never seen you afraid. And if it scares you, it's something big. Something important. Maybe important to all of us. Let's see, John. Hold it, Brandon. Are you out of your mind? Keep out of this, kid. I think you better go. You can talk later after you've cooled down. Keep your hands off of me. Mr. Sutter doesn't want to talk to you. Don't you threaten me. I knew you when you were a filthy little gun. You don't frighten me, Ben. I'll find out what he's hiding. What's this? Acid. And scale. Now, what would you want these for? Right now, I don't know but I got a fair idea what it could be. And you're trying to keep it secret. Something real big, maybe. I'll find what it is. John, mark my words. I'll find out. And no cheap gunman's gonna stop me. Get out! He knows we found something, all right. What of it, John? Why all the secrecy? I don't see how gold could ruin you if it's on your own property. I don't either, sir. You can stop people from coming onto your own land, can't you? That's just it. I can't. I hold a Mexican land grant. The Mexicans are no longer in power. California has been won by the Americans. Soon it'll be a state. My grant won't be worth a continental. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to keep a soul out, let alone thousands. It don't stay. It 
it don't turn it. Wait, John. Wait. gold should be. We've got gold on our hands, John, and there's lots more where they come from. The fortune of a century. For some people, maybe. And I'm going to be one of them. I'm going to be the biggest millionaire in the country. Where are you going? Back up to Coloma to dig for gold. Look, Jim, I'm not even going to try to stop you. But don't tell anybody about this yet. I need a little time to think. Time to plan. I'll draw up a new lease covering the mineral rights and I'll send it to the governor at Monterey for his approval. I'll double the wages of every worker I've got. For their own good, I'll try to keep them from running off. You can count on me, John. I won't throw. When I'm a millionaire, maybe, then I'll open my mouth. Remember, Jim, the welfare of hundreds of people is in your hands. Let this secret out, and their jobs will be ruined when people come pouring over my land. You can count on me. Good. Maybe you shouldn't have let him go, sir. What else could I do? Well, at least he'll be too busy to talk. That's one bit of trouble out of the way. Yeah? Here comes some more. Bremen. I don't want to talk to him. Not yet. I'll handle him. The son can't talk now. He's too busy. No, well, he's going to talk. I've been doing some figuring and listening. The room is all over the fort. Marshal rides in when he's not expected. He's all excited. He comes straight to Sutter. Then he looks for acid and scales. What for? To test and to weigh. An ore of some kind. That's enough. I'm on the right track, ain't I? Now I'm going to find out for certain. And no kid gunman's going to stop me. Let him be, Ben. That's right, ain't it, John? You've been testing an ore. Maybe. What kind? Gold? Maybe. I knew it. Gold. Marshall found gold up at Coloma. What if he had? What would you do about it? I'd take the news to San Francisco. I'd spread it all over California. It's just what we need. We'll be a state someday, a great one. Gold and the people it'll bring will make it all the greater. But you've got no proof that we've found gold, Sam. There are lots of minerals we could be testing for. All this talk of yours about wanting California to be a great place doesn't fool me. You want people to come in here because you want to trade with them and build a fortune. I know all about these different businesses of yours. That newspaper is just one of them. Huh. You want your hands in the gold, too. And you wouldn't stop at anything to ruin my land or anybody else's to get what you want. Who's gonna stop me, John? I am. I told you once to keep out of this. Are you? All right, you. this country, John, and it doesn't belong to you. It belongs to everyone. Me, the people, everybody. Give me that. Stand back, you two, or I'll blow you to kingdom come. I'm going to San Francisco with this news, and neither you nor Ben can stop me. Step back. Back. Sam, wait a minute. Listen to me. You know how hard I've worked to build this land up from the wilderness? Hundreds of people. White and Indian alike depend on that land for their living. What do you suppose is going to happen to them when strangers take over? They'll starve, because everything that I've built will have been ruined. I need a little time, Sam. Time to draw up a new lease to protect my property and my workers. Wait a little. That's all I ask. You talk good, John, but this news can't wait. The world's got to know about it. California needs the people it'll bring. I'm going to San Francisco as soon as I can pack. And don't anybody try to stop me. Sam, wait! Sam! The skunk! Let him go, Ben. There's nothing we can do. We'll lick.
Refocus to Brandon's room at the other end of the fort. Gold in California. What a break. The news will spread like wildfire. People will come streaming in here from everywhere. Thousands. This is just what California needs. And it's what I need. Neither Sutter nor anybody else can stop me now. You're not going anywhere. Put that thing away, you crazy kid. You're not leaving, Brandon. I'll kill you first. Jack. Yes, sir? Stand by to activate the materialization chamber. Yes, sir. Throw the switch. Spectral wave condensers are opening. Turboid activity is increasing. Voltage is building up. Spark gaps are closing. It's transforming to electrical impulses and beginning to dematerialize. There he goes. He's gone. You don't dare kill me. I got power in this country. You'd hang. Look, Brennan. Sutter's worked hard to build up this country. He's given lots of people homes and jobs, me included. He just needs a little time, that's all. And you're going to give it to him. You don't bluff me, Ben Clark. You don't dare shoot. Don't forget. Sutter trusts you. You <laughs> shot! Drop the gun, Ben. Ben. I don't know what got into me. I forget. You didn't hit him. I know, but I tried. I'm sure it won't happen again. What about Mr. Sutter? He'll be ruined. Shooting Brandon wouldn't have helped. The news would have leaked out anyway. Already has. People are coming west, Ben. Thousands of them. And there's nothing either you or Sutter can do about it. Ben! That gunshot. What happened? It's an accident, Mr. Sutter. Just an accident. Nobody hurt. Who in tarnation is that? I don't know, Mr. Sutter. I don't know. But he's a right guy. A real right guy. Okay, Jeff. Take me back. Well, that's that. But, Captain, what happened afterward? Did Sutter lose his land? Yes. He did everything he could to save it, but... There was no stopping the mad rush for gold. His men deserted him, just as he knew they would, and his land was completely overrun with miners and prospectors. Golly. Even though the great California gold rush was started by the discovery on his land, both John Sutter and James Marshall died without a penny. But they'll always be remembered for the great part they played in building California. when we again transmit you to this remote location on the planet Earth, where Captain Zero and his associates will conduct another experiment in time and space.